Hey, Joe Gilder here. Got another listening test for you. This one's really fun and a little surprising. So I'm going to play you two versions of the same song. Leave a comment or at least just make a mental note. What's the difference between the two? What do you hear that's different between the two? And I've got a killer lesson to show you today. So stick around. All right, let's listen. Let's do one more listen, shorter, that quiet part before the chorus, and then we'll talk about what's the difference. All right, get your guesses in. You can always edit your comment after. But what do you think is the difference between these two? I'll give you a second to get your guess in. Pause the video here. Get your guess in. Okay, if you guessed that the difference between the two is the quote-unquote loudness, you are correct. Or if you guess that there was more limiting on one than the other, you are correct. Let me show you, because this is powerful for you to understand if you ever plan to do any mastering or if you're even going to have someone else master your material for you this is a must know so pay attention here are the two songs i just played for you here's the first one here's the second one so just to clarify the first one has been mastered way louder than the second one okay first one is a lot louder than the second but what i did is i level matched them average level so they came through at roughly the same volume for you. Why is that important? We'll get to that in just a second. Here is the actual volume difference between the two. I'm gonna turn things down a little bit so you can just hear the volume jump. Here's the first one. What if it's all in my Versus the second one. All in my head. Okay, so significantly quieter. So you may say, Joe, that's not fair. Here's the dealio. It's fair because what I played for you in the listening test is exactly what you would hear if you uploaded both of these to Spotify, Apple Music, to name a few. Okay. Uh, if you follow my buddy Ian Shepard, you know he's talked about this loudness penalty thing for years. He actually has a website and a plugin that will let you know how your master matches up to the loudness penalty that these services will impose on you if you master your stuff too loudly. So rewind a decade or so, there was the, this thing they called the loudness wars where people found out that, hey, limiters and digital audio, add those two together, we can make things as loud as we want. So we can make this... Over. Instead of this. My and we thought, it's louder, it's better, right? Great. So then when you listen to this CD or you listen to this on the radio, one person's mix might be louder than the next and louder is better, right? Well, as it turns out, it sounds a lot worse. You have to really junk up the audio to get it that loud. And the streaming services finally caught up and said, hey, you know what? The louder stuff doesn't sound any better. If anything, it's it sounds worse. And if we get everybody at the same playing field, then it's just the best mix that makes the difference, not one is so much louder than the others. So there is a literally a loudness penalty. If we look inside of Studio One, we actually include this. If I look at uh, Apple Music, for example, it's negative 16 luffs. I think Spotify is negative 14. So negative 14 luffs is 
the target loudness that Spotify is looking for. Okay? So if you master something like this first one here that I just crushed, you can see the inter actually before I turned it down, the it was around a, a Luff's value of about negative seven or eight. Seven negative yeah. I think it was negative eight. So sig almost six decibels louder than this one. And you might think, well, then that one's going to be louder and it's going to be better. Actually, no, because Spotify is going to turn that thing down to this same average level as everything else. So the average, like the quieter intro might be louder on this first one, but the overall volume is going to be roughly the same. So what do we hear as the difference once we account for the actual difference in volume? What's the difference in tone? Well, what I hear is a couple things. First of all, you're going to get some distortion when you have your master that loud. I'm going to turn this back down. So they're matched again. Secondly, it's the first one sounds so flat. The really loud one sounds super flat, and there's no punch to it. Listen specifically to, just before the chorus, the kick drum and the vocal. Listen to how they kind of seem, seems like everything's smushed up against a wall, almost like a bully pinned these against the wall. <laughs> You can turn up as loud as you want. There's not much punch when that kick drum hits. Versus this one, there's plenty of punch. What accounts for that? Dynamics. This is the thing that Ian Shepard's been preaching at us for a decade, but there are more dynamics in this second one, which means those transients of those like kick drums and that kind of the dynamic of the vocal can actually come through and make it sound really interesting. Listen to that kick drum again. That piano part jumps out. The guitar part kind of jumps out. They all have room to jump out because they're not hitting this hard ceiling versus the really loud one. They're all just, poor things are all just strangled. Now, I used the FabFilter Pro L2 on this limiter, as the limiter, and it does sound pretty good even when you slam things into it. It's not like this first one sounds terrible, but once we compensate for the fact that they're going to sound the same volume inside of whatever streaming surface you're listening to, then suddenly I want this one. I want to hear the punch of the kick drum. I want things to jump out and have a little dynamic to them. What if it's all This video comes out right at the end of my launch of a new mastering course. It's called Home Studio Mastering. It completes the trilogy. I've launched a recording course, a mixing course, now a mastering course. You can check that out at homestudiocorner.com slash master and see what that's all about. If you want to learn how to do mastering, how to get your levels nice and loud without overdoing it, but also without underdoing it, let's make them loud enough. That course will show you how, among lots of other things. Go check it out, homestudiocorner.com slash master. Thanks for watching.